Welcome, this is John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. This is another video for my friends in commercial real estate brokerage all around the world. Indeed, if you haven't visited our website before, please do so at commercial-realestate-training.com. So for today, I want to focus on one thing and that is the action steps to better and consistent ongoing client contact. So get your notebook, come back, grab a coffee, have a listen and see if you can pick up on some tips here that can help you drive your commercial real estate business forward more directly and more specifically. So the issue is that we need to engage with clients consistently in an ongoing way. That's a strategic thing. It's up to us individually as brokers and agents to do that. Indeed, the more effective you are at doing that, in other words, connecting with clients and prospects every day, the faster your real estate business will grow. The biggest struggle point for many brokers and agents in the industry is that they don't focus enough on clients and people. Sure, there's properties out there, but the initial focus has to be people, making the connections with the right people in the location. Taking that a bit further, the critical facts. In commercial real estate agency, the clients that we serve are a critical part of the market share that we build. As I said, it doesn't matter too much about properties. The properties will come if you know about the clients and the prospects. That's the fact. The relationships that we create with those clients should be growing within a system and strengthened with relative property market content. Now, the active word here is relative because relative is local market facts, property updates, prices, rents, listing activity, supply and demand, all of those things. When you connect with people and share local property market information that is relative to them, the connections will grow. And of course, your listing opportunities over time will grow. So this is a very specific and personal process for each and every salesperson or agent. Have a look at what you're doing every day with connecting with people. It's a people business. Put people at the central part of your daily activities. Connect with new people every day. So let's go further. There is a cycle here to think about. The cycle of commercial real estate activity is relatively long. It can in some times and some situations be considerably long, even years. It can be a long time between a sale or a lease requirement or a situation for the average client. That is why you are connecting with lots of people all of the time. It says that the client contact cycle and system should be ongoing to a plan and a process. That means talking to a lot of people every day consistently in an ongoing way. Yes, they may not have a need today, next month, next year, but you've still got to be there. It could be months or years before the client is ready to make or take the next action steps in a property transaction. So work with that. Use it. Do something with it. Make yourself more relevant for the long term. Over that time, the relationship that you have with the, that client or prospect needs to be nurtured and strengthened. And you can do that. It's a strategic thing. You build your connections. It's a daily process. So, using your skills. To be a top agent with your clients, you, they must understand and respect your skills, your relevance in the location. You must be the go-to person when it comes to getting a result with a sale or a lease situation. The emphasis here is the go-to person. Why are you the go-to person? If you're lacking in that profile, in your location with lots of people, then you've got some work to do. That is called personal marketing, of course. When you specialise in a property type and a location, all of this is relatively easy. Every day you're building your profile and that's how you grow your market share. So here are five action steps to take. Number one. Review the client's account history, their property needs, and the potential new business that they may have coming to them or from them in the future. As part of that, consider the variations between sales, leasing, and property management. You want them to come to you with all of their challenges. Make sure that your services are comprehensive and that you can help them in many different ways. Introduce them across the team to make sure that they understand the people in your team and the skills that are in your team to help in those diverse and special property situations. You can also obtain fees from a project leasing 
or a tenant retention plan or a special lease review, renovation or refurbishment strategies. So look at all the variations, understand them for what they are. Yes, you may, may only focus on sales or leasing, but look at everything else as well. Step number two. Given the previous point mentioned, determine the reasons for ongoing contact based on the client's requirements and the fee potential. Good fees come from quality clients with large buildings in quality locations. Every contact call, meeting or direct mail piece should be consistently focusing on the story, the biggest need that you believe applies to the client and their portfolio. So every communication piece is special and unique to the property, the client and their situation. Don't be generic, be special, unique and very direct going further. Create consistency in your contact plan by including this determined need factor. And of course you can track that need factor in your database, your ongoing conversations, your connections with the client. Number three. At a minimum or basic frequency, you should be connecting with all of your clients or prospects at least once every 90 days. Now that's a big issue. 90 days is a challenge if you've got a lot of people in your list. But that's the probably the reason for the disconnect. Some people have too many people in their list and they can't connect with them frequently. That disconnect means that they miss out on business. So don't make your list too large. Focus on maybe 600 people. In doing so, that's about 10 people a day, five days a week over a 90-day cycle. 600 good quality people in your list will produce business for you. That's a fact. When you know that the person is moving to some form of property activity, the contact cycle should be shortened, of course, and much more specific. It's a known fact that the ongoing contact made to a single client in this way will build agency relevance and immediacy. So after the second or third contact to the same prospect or client, you are likely to get better conversions to new business activity. And conversions are everything. What you're trying to do here is convert to a meeting. You want that telephone call to convert to a meeting. When that happens, soon after you'll find listing opportunities evolve. The organisation behind this process should involve a good database with some checklists, some update lists to keep you on track with conversations, calls and contacts. So let's go further. Number four, the client contacting process or system that you create should involve dialogue practice. That's so important. If you're going to connect with a lot of people, you should be good at your conversations across the telephone and in meetings. So, when you think about that, call contact and meeting activity will be a daily process. You can improve your conversions in both of these situations through prospecting and dialogue practice, a daily event, before you get to work. Determine the weaknesses that you have now when it comes to dialogue and presentations. Then take some steps to improve your voice, your voice connections, of course those weaknesses that you have given the prevailing market conditions. Know what to say, how to say it, and how to improve the connection to the other person. Most agents don't do this, so that then is an opportunity for you to improve your conversions. Your conversions to meetings, and then conversions to listings. Number five. Gather some up-to-date market information relating to the local area and the particular property types. Dig down into your property types, your property speciality. Display that information in various ways, including charts, market trends, photographs and benchmarking. You can load all of these things into the cloud, into the cloud on the internet so that you can download them onto your tablet or your computer during any meeting, any coffee meeting, any connection with a client or prospect. When you have them on your tablet, you can display the information to the people that you're talking with. So this information will give you substance and confidence when it comes to connecting with your clients and your prospects. Substance and confidence. Do you have some substance in your connections? I go back to the point of practice. And are you confident in doing so? I hope so. Confidence can be felt when it comes to the client listening to you. So the summary of all of these things. 
A client contact strategy in commercial real estate is a very specific process. It requires planning and consistency at a personal level. Over time, you will find that the process will help you establish stronger market share, generate many more quality listings, and that's exactly what you want in commercial real estate brokerage. Get involved with your market, get involved with your clients and prospects, connect with them every day. They are the action steps to better client contact, and that will boost your business faster over time. So this is John Highman, and I do thank you for listening to the program today. Please visit the website at commercial-realestate-training.com. Catch you again very soon online.